Glash Mush. Like a movie featuring Russell Cross, the president of Transnistia, Igor the Lenient, has searched to the far side of the world to find his first lady, his bride. A lady worth the status as a lady for our fair nation, renowned for our culture, our history, and more recently as the earth center of illegal armaments trading. Sure, there were doubts about his first fiance, but uh, many women have small amounts of facial hair. And luckily his dalliance with Paris Hilton was fleeting. But now, all our fair country are having our hearts on our sleeves and have happiness that Igor has finally found his true lady love in a small rural town in the land down under. On our visit to Rockhampton, we have asked around some local people to know the future First Lady and her background. I have to admit that even I was a bit excited when I heard that Joanne was doing the princess thing. Um, I mean, she's already got the dress sense down perfectly pat. And honestly, the, the name Eagle is such a classic name. Honestly, I, I don't think Joan was ever really a goth. I think she only wore black because it made her butt look smaller. I always knew she was going to get somewhere. I mean, even when they allocated the signs, she'd always get the go sign. But what would I say to an heir? Go, you good thing, go! Oh, I was gobsmacked. I mean, now I'm just buying up scratchies, hoping for an invite to the wedding. Observers have noticed the uncanny resemblance of our future First Lady with Princess Mary Donaldson of Denmark. And that is bringing lots of pleasure to our hearts. And so, we wait with breath spaded for the arrival of our First Lady Joanne back to our noble country. We have presidential relations with the republics of Austria, Pushkbash and Mokstak and we hope they send high level delegations to the wedding. Apart from daily tasks such as lowering the ruble and negotiating with rival warlords, we hope that the happy couple will have plenty of time to go down under after the wedding. Glashmush. <laughs> 